Yo, so guys, welcome back to another video. Um, I'm a bit frustrated to be honest. I've been spending the last hour trying to connect my camera to my computer and for some reason it's not working. I just came home from the gym and it's not working. I haven't even touched it since I last used it yesterday. So yeah, it's a bit frustrating. I've wasted an hour trying to sort it out and I haven't been able to sort it out, but it's got to deal with it, right? Um, the reaction today or one of the reactions today is top 10 insane courtroom freakouts after sentencing. I don't know. I don't like a similar reaction. I think it was like, like of like teenagers and seemed to get on quite well. It's always quite intense seeing these videos. So yeah, more of them if you want more reactions. But let's see some more of these crazy reactions to being sentenced. Hey, no, no, mental hospital. He need, he need to go to prison, man. Come on, sir. Jeez, he's got clothesline. Some WWE type oh. shit. Okay, wow. I wouldn't want to be in any of those situations. Oh, the judge in the last clip you. looked like he was fearing for his life. You just never know what these convicts are capable of. Sometimes these convicts are very upset at the judge for their sentencing. They feel like the judge is the reason why that they're going. Is being a judge quite a dangerous job? Because say you sentence like a drug dealer, like a really high level drug dealer, like in charge, like a kingpin, you know? Surely you're gonna have people like after you. Like, is it a dangerous job or am I just sort of thinking too much about it? Maybe there's no real. I'm guessing it is quite dangerous to a degree, but. Going to jail for like 30 years. They don't themselves feel responsible for why they are going to prison or why they're getting the sentencing. Well, sometimes family members in courts are the ones that freak out because they are just so angry listening to the court case or just angry being in the same room as the murderer. God damn, he just flew for him. So let's not waste any time here. This is the top 10 insane courtroom outbursts after sentencing. Things are about to get pretty crazy around here. And if you guys missed our brand new series called The Prison Life Of, you guys can click right over here. It's a completely different type of video that we've ever done on this channel for the first time in like four years. So make sure you guys go check it out. All right, let's get into this one. Number 10. So this is the backstory to it then. What did he do? So that was actually the father of three victims who was sexually assaulted by Larry Nassar. Larry Nassar, I know the name probably sounds very familiar to you guys, but he was the USA gymnastics doctor who sexually assaulted more than 150 women. He was sentenced Ooh. to 175 years in prison. My page only goes. What a weirdo, man. To 100 years. Sir, I'm giving you 175 years which is 2100 months. In court, this so father just couldn't stand Larry Nassar, so he wanted to hurt him himself. So he actually. I thought, I don't know, for some, for some reason, I thought he was like on. He was not. He was the one being sentenced, but he wouldn't because he wasn't wearing his stuff. Good on him then, man. I respect it. And then he asked the judge this To grant me five minutes in a locked room with this <laughs> demon. Oh, I would love to see that, man. Would you do that? Of course the judge said no, but this father did what he wanted to do anyways. He was outraged. He was furious. You can't do that. That's not how our legal system well, works. This father is so lucky he wasn't charged for this attack. In fact, nothing actually happened to this father at all. It, he was only given a warning. Just for the record, you need to know that I could give you a jail sentence. I could find you up to $7,500. Okay, so let's move on to number nine. Now this one is different. There was an outburst in court, but this isn't what you guys think. A man approached a judge for a crime he committed, and as soon as he realized- oh, I've seen this clip so many times, man. I, I do know this clip, so I'm not gonna- I mean, it's just like he knows her from school, doesn't he? I could do it. Nicest kid in middle school. <laughs> oh my God. It is that was Judge Mindy Glazer, who actually went to middle school with the convict, who was 49 year old Arthur Booth. And the Judge Mindy remembered him as this like very, very nice kid. Well, as soon as he realized who Judge Mindy was, he started to break down and cry. Mr. Booth, I hope you were able to change your ways. Good luck to you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Number eight. Man, my brother got 13. 
Damn, she's loud. So that was his sister freaking out when she found out that her brother Lance Dyer has just received an 11 year prison sentence for stealing a vehicle and leading police on a high pursuit car chase. Lance was just 16 years old at the time and he had a gun on him. When police got close to him, Lance bailed from his car and he ran outside. He tried to get away from police officers, but he was also aiming the gun at a police officer. A police officer shot him in the hand and he was quickly arrested. At number seven, we have uh, Michael Thomas. What if he saw anything in that one? What the fuck? Had a huge outburst in court. This man is so dangerous and is so unsteady. He had to appear in a courtroom where whoever attended the court hearing in the audience actually had to stand behind this glass wall. They couldn't be in the same room per se. <laughs> My right ear is getting destroyed. Police officers even had to calm down the friends and family members in the audience. People were so on the edge that more police officers had to be called in. I think at one point, there was over 20 officers in one room trying to handle the situation. God damn. Michael Thomas ended up being sentenced to 35 years in prison plus 10 years of extended supervision after he pleaded guilty to two charges of first degree reckless homicide in the murder of Sharon Staples and her unborn child during a robbery that actually took place back in 2011. Moving into number six. Oh, yo. <laughs> Six-year-old Jalel Hoskins, who lashed out at the judge by throwing his stand down, and he made a move towards the judge. I don't think that you know threatening a judge is a good idea because your life is literally in their hands. So what yeah. are you thinking, Jalel? Please. <laughs> I mean, you're just—if anything, you're just gonna make your sentence even longer. I mean, you might be getting life anyway, but yeah, it's not gonna help your circumstances. That's for sure. He's guilty to second-degree murder and tamper. But at the same time, I guess they're humans, right? They're gonna react if they're gonna get something that they don't want, you know? ...with evidence. By pleading guilty, he has a chance at parole at some point in his life, but he was sentenced to 25 to 75 years, which is a Jeez. huge range. Jalal's mother was also freaking out in courtroom right after the sentencing was announced. <laughs> Number five, we have a judge who just can't handle this convict. What you're about to see is a convict who just won't stop talking. So the judge said that he is gonna have him gagged. But the convict continues gagged. to speak, and you guys won't believe what happens next. I'm gonna gag you in one second. So just listen. What does that mean? You're gonna have a bad day. Oh, no. oh you quit. This is gag. Does he mean actually gag him? What? Oh, literally. Is this real life right now? I'm not even sure that this is allowed. This must violate this man's rights. I'm not trying to defend the convict here, but he was trying just to defend himself because he felt like he wasn't being heard. I mean, I'm sure they know the rules, but if they are breaking the rules somehow, then flipping out. But again, I'm sure they know what they can and can't do. Because if they're doing something that they, they're not allowed to do, then that sounds kind of mental. He was being accused sure. of four armed robberies. Thank Just to case. make light of the situation, there was actually a funny part in this video. At the end of the video, the judge starts talking again, saying that he will have a chance to speak, but it's not going to be now. And then all of a sudden, the convict, he was still able to talk. He was still <laughs> able to speak, even though the tape was on his mouth. And it took like 10 police officers to put the tape on this man's mouth, but every single, they, they just did a horrible job. Mr. Williams will have a chance to speak. Uh, and I'll be you know, honored with everything I'll say. <laughs> Number four, this next clip <laughs> is a little bit too. hard to see, but what you're about to see is a judge who starts to freak out and he actually leaves his seat. It looks like the judge was about to fight this convict. Stand up. You're, you're going to a jail for a year in the county, 365 days county jail. I mean, this is something you don't see every day. So after the judge walks away, the man starts to fight with the officer in the courtroom. Put your hands behind your back. Moving into number three, we have a murderer who tried to exercise his rights to stand up in court. I'm not sure if this is even a right to be able to, you know, stand up in a courtroom, but police officers told this convicted murderer to sit down, but he wanted to stand up.
So that guy was actually being convicted of the beheading death of a 19-year-old. I mean, that oh. is just so... A beheading... Oh, jeez. Oh, sickening. I think not only this guy doesn't deserve to stand up in court... A 19-year-old as well. It's younger than me. That's crazy. I think he deserves to just be, you know, forgotten about in prison for the rest of his life. This next one is super hard to watch. At number two, we are about to see a father who confronts his son's killer. He don't need to be laying no, no mental hospital. He need, he need to go to prison, man. Come on, sir. He want to play crazy? He wasn't, he wasn't crazy when he killed my mother and my son, man. This father was freaking out because the man who killed his son was trying to get leniency by pleading insanity, meaning he wasn't in, you know, the right state of mind when he committed the murder. So he'll be able to get a lesser of a sentence. He'll be able to serve his time in a mental institution. I feel for this father and I would be freaking out as well. I, I, I couldn't contain myself in this situation. There's just no way. His back was tied to you, man. He was trying to get away from you and you murdered him, man, like you. You made him like that. Are you doing that? When I first watched the clip, I had That's tears in my eyes. I just couldn't imagine what this father was going through. And finally, at number one, pain. we have a judge who freaked real out. Pain. You were relentless. You stabbed. You stabbed. You stabbed. You stabbed. You stabbed. The judge was so angry because he was sentencing a woman who was convicted of killing her boyfriend. She showed no signs of remorse. At the end of the sentencing, the judge said, I hope you die in prison. Flipping. I hope you die in prison as well. You know, if... Fair enough. I mean, God, can they get in trouble for saying stuff like that? Or are they, allowed, are they allowed to say whatever they want? As long as it's not, like, discrimination or whatever. Are they allowed to say that? Because, I mean, you'll say what you got to say, but flip here, no. If this was a death penalty state, you'd be getting the chair. Well, there you guys have it. Thank you guys so much Fair for watching enough. this video. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Don't disagree with what he's saying, but God damn, it's strong. None out of ten comments are about how this guy talks too much. I felt for the old guy, he needs to go to jail, not no, 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 not no mental institution. Yeah, well, it's crazy when you can see someone who murdered someone else, maybe not necessarily go to jail for as long as they should do or not go to jail because of certain reasons or stipulations. But then someone selling weed on the corner will get a, a longer sentence. It's just a bit dodgy, you know, but the systems around the world, man, just how they like to do it. The video could have easily been five minutes without all the extra talking, but I guess you've got to reach a 10 minute mark to hit the huge algorithm, right? It's, it's, it's not a big deal, man. It's probably to avoid copyright and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this reaction. If you want more of these courtroom kind of reactions, let me know what you want to see in future. And I mean, yeah, until next time, like, subscribe. Peace.